Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and the topic for this video is angelic forces are alive. I want to talk about angels and angelic force, angelic powers um, and kind of paint a little bit of a new picture concerning how we perceive and how we look and uh, at um, angels in and around us. So here is the thing. For me, angels are energy realities. They have been on the planet forever. They are around us all the time. As I'm speaking right now, I'm being watched and being permeated and interacting with different types of angelic hierarchies. The nature around me right now is supported by a certain hierarchy of angelic powers. The video recorder, the, the cell phone, uh, everything that is happening technically here is supported by a set of angelic powers. Every city, every town, every thought is, um, you know, sponsored by an angelic energy. Uh, we are being permeated by dozens and dozens and dozens of angelic powers all the time. My body is being supported by a set of angelic hierarchies. You have elemental forces working through me, um, you know, what I mean is that it's, it's omnipresent. It's omnipresent all the time and everywhere. These angelic uh, energies that I call also energy realities are intelligent. They are conscious. We can communicate with them all the time. And um, they are not, in my experience, most of the time, uh, personified. You know, they don't appear to me with uh, eyes, a face, and a body. They appear to me in the form of energy realities with feelings, impressions, and, and uh, energies that are impacting on my body and my mind. Like right now, I'm channeling something. I am being inspired. Inspired it means that the spirit is coming in and I'm transmitting something, I'm creating something through the power of life force that is flowing through me. And this life force is intelligent. Okay, so here is the model that I have. Here is the mind um, concepts that I have in, in, in me that explain how angel, angelic powers and angelic forces work around us, in and around us all the time. Uh, they were at the origin of human creation, manifestation, the first seeds of intelligence being implanted in our consciousness, uh, every single civilization, and so on. It's very different to think it like that than thinking, oh, here's a little cupid coming and throwing a little arrow when two people get uh, in love, you know, and this is it, you know, otherwise the angels are not there and they appear every now and then there is one that appears in in the bible or in, in human history bringing some a gift or some message or the sky opens up and there is this magnificent um happening where an angel appears to somebody um i think those are you know very beautiful romantic uh, myths but in my experience, reality is very, very different. I believe that right now we are permeated on this planet by millions, maybe billions of uh, angelic intelligence, which are working in all aspects of creation, uh, generating the earth and and uh, the creation that we that we know. So uh, very often you will hear that, right? You say the messengers are uh, the angels are messengers of God. So what does that mean? It means that you have God-like um, beings, you know, the sun, Surya, the moon, the earth. Those are God-like, goddess-like energy realities. So those beings live mainly in what we call the nirvanic realms. So nirvanic are the realms of pure, absolute energy. Okay, this is the highest point that we can access as human being. If you go and your personality totally dissolves and you enter into this absolute total state of trance and bliss where all thoughts are gone and everything and you enter into this state of pure samadhi, you will touch on the nirvanic realms, you will touch on this space of pure 
light, vibration, pure energy, pure source, this is where we come from, <clears throat> when we start incarnating, then these are the, you know, the nirvanic realms. And then, as you come down into creation, you, you touch what we call the buddhic planes, and then everything that has to do with the personality starts incarnating. Uh, so in that realm, in the realms of the, the, the personal expression, you have uh, the mental body, you have the emotional body, and then the physical body. And so the angelic powers, the angelic intelligences, are there being a bridge between godlike energies and human beings. So it means that in the hierarchy, they are, I believe, way more evolved than we are as human beings, and they stand between us and gods. And this is why we call them messengers of God, because they um, come to, uh, to, to be these links, these energy links between humans and godlike energies. This means that when you are actually communicating with God, right, you are there sitting and having this prayer and this conversation, uh, we are actually technically communicating with angelic forces that are going to take this message and bring that active communication. It means that the response that you get might be a response that is actually coming from angelic powers. I mean, at least that's my, <laughs> you know, that's my experience and that's my mindset or that's my concept. If you have another way of thinking about that, that's okay, you know, please, please. This is not um, a debate about what is right and wrong. Everything that I'm giving you here are concepts, okay? They are thoughts, they are beliefs. And those beliefs are within the realm of what we call the mental body. And the mental body is a, a, a certain sphere of consciousness where we try to explain things logically with words. Words are limited. Reality is much more complex than everything that I'm saying right now. So what I'm depicting here is just a fraction, a very simplified picture of reality. No matter what you tell me, no matter what you say, you're still going to be within the realms of uh, that mental body and your words will be a very um, thin approximation of a reality which is much vaster. Okay, when we try to comprehend what angelic powers are or angelic beings, <laughs> you know, the words are only very, you know, very limited ways of describing that, the best way to, to, to feel it and to experience it is, is really by experience. But when we try to rationalize things and conceptualize and use words, then no matter what we say, we are still giving a, a, a fraction of what the truth and reality is. So keep that in mind. Back to uh, angelic powers, I hope that the model that I'm giving you here makes sense to you. If not, just discard it and find something else that works for you. Okay? I see you soon again. Take care.